everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you so much for joining me on today's really nice import video. We're talking about Datsun 1600. We talk about rare cars. We talk about styling. We talk about some of the earlier Datsuns that have gone up in value, crazy money. We feel that these cars are poised to continue doing the same thing. The 1600s and the 2000s uh, are on their way. We are in the process of finishing the restoration on this car. We've done uh, a lot of detail, a lot of parts replacing, new paint, like all kinds of stuff, wheels, tires, you name it. We've been doing stuff to the car and we are very close and I didn't want to wait any longer to get this video out there because so many people have been asking for it. And I think people, when they're asking for video, they know something that sometimes we don't even know. And that is, this is the future of the market. This is a great looking car. I mean, the style of this thing says uh, performance, one of the most beautiful style Japanese sports cars of its time. We're talking 1966. We're doing this video in 2022. That is a long time ago, man. We're talking, uh, we're heading to the 60 year mark right now. The 60 year mark of this car, which is just amazing when you think about it. Anyway, uh, we'll take some time. We'll look at the brand new paint. We'll look at all the upgrades on the car. We'll see some of the features that make this car very modern uh, compared to old school uh, sports cars. And hopefully we'll find a way to get it in your garage. All right, so we pulled the color for 1966, silver metallic, applied it to the whole car here. The body is really nice. We wanna drive it for a minute, make some last minute adjustments to things to uh, make sure everything fits well so that when you get it, it looks really, really good. The wheel and tire combination, I think looks great. This car can handle uh, some wheels and tires and it looks so good and so modern with this here. I believe that we also have uh, a smaller set that potentially could come with it. Uh, you could swap those out if you'd rather have smaller wheels and tires. I thought these look great, so that's why you put them on there. Lastly, I think that we should talk about the quality of the paints. This is brand new. You already know it's brand new because I told you that, but come on up and let's take a quick peek at it because I think that uh, silver metallic, first off, is hard in the video to see, but if you can see anything at all, it just shows you how great. Usually really dark colors do well, but look at that, nice and crisp letters. Uh, the chrome and the stainless look so good. Uh, the driving lights in here, the chrome, this. Keep in mind too that this car comes with a four inch binder of receipts, four inch binder of receipts of restoration along the way. It's had a lot of work done, which makes it a great investment as well. Talk about great looking hoods, right? The hood is awesome. It looks just like a performance style car and even better, it opens up this way, which is kind of cool. When you go to a car show, right? You're gonna to wanna to show this off. And these are pretty ahead of their time. We're talking about aluminum heads, right? Twin side drafts. These cars make pretty good power, especially since they're light cars. They don't have to have uh, three and 400 horsepower to drive well. Got your original fender tag here with all the descriptions showing uh, right around 100 horsepower here for the 1600. It's got this VIN number, uh, build date. Got that great signature from YZ right there as well. It's nicely detailed in here, so you could go to a car show and show it off and feel good about that or just drive the car and enjoy it. But regardless, it's easy because this is a great car to tinker with as well. Like the plugs are there, uh, the air filter is right there. Like all of the little stuff that you can do is super simple to work on yourself if you wanted to. One of the reasons why this car has become so popular, first off, it handles really well. But secondly, it's got great styling. Like let's look at the car for a second back here and take uh, a moment to say why this is a great looking car. Because I get that question all the time or I get that statement. Somebody says, wow, that's a great looking car, but we don't really know why it's a great looking car. In this case here, we're talking about the stacked headlights here, right? That's a nice feature, big exhaust there, great font for the call outs. Look at this ridge that they put in the trunk. This could have been just a flat trunk, but they didn't do that, right? They added this piece of styling here and they also added this trough which gives the car a bigger look. It also gives it a look of moving along the way, all right? And then let's say you wanted to take this to car shows and things like that. The trunk is detailed with a full-size spare. It's got the jack in here. It's got the right mat inside here. Uh, it's got a locking gas cap as well. Not that that's a big deal, but uh, it's important to know that. And of course, the brand new paint around here makes it look so, so nice. All right, so you walked up to this great looking sports car. I just wanted you to see it one last time before we get in it because the cockpit of this car has even better style, right? So come on, join me inside here. Let's check this out. 
So it's important to be able to fit in a car, right? I'm 6'1", I got my legs almost all the way stretched out. Uh, and so there's plenty of room in here. We're finishing up the last couple things here. We got a nice uh, leather wrap coming for this wheel. The last knob or two missing uh, here that's on order. What else we got fun? This is an original style stereo. They make a digital version of this that looks super stock, right? But uh, has Bluetooth and things like that. So you could add that to it and keep the dash looking stock. Or we could put an original, original style, old school, just AM or AM, FM radio and hide a digital unit inside the glove box, which might be kind of cool. Then you could stream your music or what have you. It's also set up for a tonal cover. It's got the clips here all around the car so that if you didn't want to put the convertible top on, you can just uh, put the tonal cover on. Uh, unzip it to go for a drive and enjoy it. And if you went somewhere or went to dinner or whatever, you just put it back on, zip it, right? It takes two seconds to do. And the interior is kept nice and dry. You got all these cool, right? And this is a real world car too, with a heating system, stereo system, roll up windows. Like this is not just a basic, you know, fair weather car only. This is nice in case you decide to take up smoking, which I really like. All right, I'm just kidding. I'm not taking up smoking. 7,000 RPM tech, 120 mile an hour speedometer. Right, full array of gauges. It's just an awesome car inside. I love this mirror right here. Check that out. All the 1950s vintage Corvettes had that mirror right there too. It just looks good. I don't know, they just don't do that anymore. And this right here is cool. This is actually designed for support, but it's a cool looking piece as well. All right, so we closed up the video on this beautifully styled uh, Japanese Roadster. We watched the Zs go up in value, the 2000s, the Austin Healey 3000s. Like these cars of this era are all starting to go, go, go. This is that kind of car, man. You're going to kick yourself for not doing something uh, and making something happen uh, when you could instead of, you know, when they're $200,000 someday. Who knows? Anyway, uh, we looked at a full array of gauges inside, which was nice. Great cockpit. The engine compartment was great looking. The interior just is fabulous. The styling of the car, the wheels and tires, the new paint, four inch thick folder of receipts uh, that we have splayed out for you as well. Lastly, just a great driving, awesome car to have some fun and put a smile on your face and go for a drive. Go to a winery in this thing. Go out to dinner in this car, man. Leave your SUV at home. Enjoy some of this and it's a game changer for you. It makes me smile just thinking about it. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. Tell you all about this Datsun 1600. And if you don't mind, please hit the like button right down below. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share it with your friends. I think they might like it too. a Datsun 1600, right? A sports car in America, wheeling down the road. So nice, look at this, wow. They do handle well, they do. We're rolling around the corners. I was hoping that maybe you could get a little look at what I can see going down there. Engine sounds great, the exhaust sounds great. Shifter box feels good. And now I'm just relaxed now that I've had a second to learn how to drive it. And it rides really nice, especially for a small sports car. It's smooth. One of the things I do like to do is point out sometimes when I don't like something. For instance, we just had the car painted and all reassembled and there's a little rattle right here. I know that that needs to be adjusted. That bothers me. I wouldn't send it to you that way. But you can tell that's a little adjustment from being assembled recently. But watch us go right around the corner here. Nice. All right, thank you guys so much for going for a ride with me. I hope you enjoyed it, I had a great time. I will see you on the next test drive.